E and D here, Murders at Call of Manor gave us a new mechanic that lets you cast and mask your creatures and then, boom, surprise, surprise, your opponent, Disguise. Disguise is a keyword ability introduced as set in Murders at Call of Manor. It allows the player to pay 3 generic mana to cast a card with the ability face down as a 2-2 colorless typeless creature with ward 2. Disguise is an upgraded variant of Morph. Most for the rules of Morph are the same for Disguise. It is cast for 3 generic mana, but its mana value is still 0 both on the stack and on the battlefield. A Disguise creature has no name, nor creature types. It has ward 2 and no other abilities. This aspect is how Disguise is different from Morph. Each player can look at their own face down permanents at any time and can't look at others. A player can turn a card with Disguise face up for the Disguise cost as a special action. You can cast any card with Disguise face down from any zone if you have permission to cast the card. In some cases such as if you're casting it from exile it won't be much of a surprise to your opponent, but there still may be advantages to have a creature start face down so you can later turn it face up. And remember that you don't have to cast it face down at all, you can always just forego the disguise and cast the card as a normal paying its mana cost. But how do you play disguise? Let's build our battlefield and let's cast Aurelia Vindicator. Aurelia Vindicator has Disguise X, 3 and 1 white. Because Aurelia Vindicator has the Disguise mechanic, I can cast it face down without letting my opponent know for 3 generic mana. Any spell you cast with Disguise, it's a normal creature spell with mana value 0 on the stack. No name, no color, nor creature type. Still there can be a counter, still there can be a response. If nothing happens, my Aurelia Vindicator disguised will hit the battlefield. On the battlefield, my disguised creature is a 2-2, colorless creature with war 2. And because it's a 2-2 creature, it can do all things creatures can do. It can attack, block, get suited up with auras and equipment get counters and so on and so on. You can turn face up your disguised creatures anytime you are able or when you have priority and this is done at instant speed as a special action. This happens immediately and doesn't use this tech so it can't be responded to. The resulting face up permanent immediately has its true characteristics. In my case to unveil my Aurelia Vindicator, I need to pay X, 3 and 1 white. X can be 0, but why waste an opportunity? Let X equals 2, so that I can exile 2 other target creatures from the battlefield and or graveyards. Once my Aurelia Vindicator leaves the battlefield, any exile cards will return to their owner's hand. So let's pay 2, 3 and 1 white. Turn face up my Aurelia Vindicator, target two creatures and exile them. Honestly, it's a very useful creature to remove threats from the battlefield or graveyards or to spare your own creatures. Let's say someone plays a board wipe, you flip your Vindicator, target your creatures, those creatures will be exiled, Vindicator will be destroyed leaves the battlefield and your creatures are back into your hand. Last but not least, remember that you can always cast any creature with disguise face up as a normal creature spell, just pay its standard mana cost. Some notes, disguise lets you cast a card face down by paying 3 generic mana and lets you turn the face down permanent face up anytime you have priority by paying its disguise cost. The face down spell has no mana cost and has zero mana value. When you cast a face down spell, 
put it on the stack face down. So no other player know what it is and pay 3 generic mana. This is an alternative cost. When the spell resolves, it enters the battlefield as a 2-2 creature with no name, no mana cost, no creature types and has war 2. It's colorless and has zero mana value. Other effects that apply to the creature can still grant it any of these characteristics. Anytime you have priority, you may turn the face down creature face up by revealing what is its disguise cost and paying that cost. This is a special action, it doesn't use the stack and can't be responded to. Only a face down permanent can be turned face up this way. A face down spell cannot. If a face down creature loses its abilities, it cannot be turned face up by paying its disguise cost because it no longer has disguise or a disguise cost. Because the permanent is on the battlefield both before and after it turns face up, turning a permanent face up doesn't cause any enters the battlefield abilities to trigger. Because Face down creatures don't have a name, they can't have the same name as any other creature or even another face down creature. A permanent that turns face up or face down changes characteristics but is otherwise the same permanent. Spells and abilities that were targeting that permanent as well as auras and equipment that were attached to it aren't affected. Turning a permanent face up or face down doesn't change whether that permanent is tapped or untapped. At any time you can look at the face down spell or permanent you control. You cannot look at face down spells or permanents you don't control unless an effect instruct you to do so. If a face down spell leaves the stack or goes to any zone other than the battlefield, if it was countered for example, you must reveal it. Each graveyard is kept in a single face up pile. If a face down permanent leaves the battlefield, you must reveal it. You must also reveal all face down spells and permanents you control if you leave the game or if the game ends. You must ensure that your face down spells and permanents can easily be differentiated from each other. You're not allowed to mix up the cards that represent them on the battlefield in order to confuse other players. The order they enter the battlefield should remain clear. Common methods for doing this include using markers or dice or simply placing them in order on the battlefield. So this is how you play Disguise. Honestly, it's a much better upgrade to Morph. Leave me a comment below what do you think about this new more version and as always subscribe buttons here subscribe for my channel for more and more interesting videos about magic the gathering and the collectible world